the Cooking with Mama Lombardo show. This is episode seven. What are we on? Seven? Oh my goodness. Are we really I already? Think, no, wait a minute. It's episode eight. What am I Ooh. talking about? <laughs> You're kidding. Time flies. We're oh like making great heavens. progress. We're we? doing pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And this Easter time That's frame. probably why there's yeah, a lot it's of things. It's you know, accelerating. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, so we made uh, Italian uh, Easter cookies. Yeah. with uh, Anna Lane as well as Pizza Gaina. So we had a couple uh, great episodes the last two. And now we've got another special uh, Easter-related um, recipe in pizza ricotta. Ricotta pie, yep. Ricotta, yeah, everybody likes this, so everybody's waiting for this recipe, I think. <laughs> yeah, we've had we've had numerous requests for this one. For so this one, we're going to do it. We got it for you today. And it's really good. It's really a nice recipe. Yeah, it's a classic, yeah. classic nice, Sicilian nice. Sicilian mm -hmm. recipe. Anything really with uh, sweetened ricotta in it is, is really uh, yeah. typical Sicilian. Everyone thinks of the cannoli with sweetened ricotta. They think uh, um, other other desserts that have ricotta in it. Uh, and this is another classic right. um, uh, Sicilian dessert. So it's uh, it's great. It's and it's simple. Pie. It's not a hard recipe. It's easy. And it comes out good, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. so it's uh, we haven't done a lot of desserts. This is um, uh, our second one, and and frankly, it's probably gonna be one of our best ones. So hopefully, <laughs> you'll uh, you'll sit back and, right. and enjoy and, and try this out, and, um, and and it's and it's again one of the great ones out there. Yeah. Okay. All right. Shall we get going? Let's do it. Okay, and we're ready to start the regret the pie. And uh, we're going to start with the crust. And I got two, two cups of flour, a teaspoon of baking powder in this bowl. And I got shortening here, a quarter of a cup. And I got two uh, yolks, two yolks. And because I separated, I need the whites for, my, for the uh, filling. And this is a half a cup of sugar. And a dash of salt. So I'm going to put um, my flour in here, my shortening, yeah, and I will mix my sugar with the yolk and then I will put it in there. Did I do this right? Yep, I hope so. <laughs> okay. Okay. So now I'll mix this in with my hands, crust. It's a nice dough too, it's flexible. There we go, see? It's done. The crust is done. Okay, I'll separate these two. Make two balls, one for the top, one for the bottom. 
Okay, now we got the two balls ready, and I'm gonna start making the crust and put, put, uh, shaping it into the, uh, for the bowl there. Very nice um, dough to work with too. Ooh. You, need, you just need flour to make it move. You know. Oops. And how thick should it be? It it fits the pan. Actually, when I got this recipe, it was for an eight-inch pie plate for many years ago. But I use it the same way, and I put it into a nine-inch so. I just mold it in there. So you put it in a nine inch pan, but the, yeah. the thickness of the crust is what? Probably like a, it's, you know, it's, a quarter it's, of an inch, something like that? No, not even less. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's just a good, you'll see. I just mold it in there because if it breaks, it's okay. I mean, now it's all broken up, but that's okay. So you're gonna fix it? Uh, it just moves in there, yeah. So do you try it to doesn't, get it? It doesn't really go all the way up, but okay, that's, that's okay what I was too. Ask. You don't try to get it all the way up no, on the side. No, that's fine. It'll be fine. Okay. So how do, if it doesn't reach all the way to the sides, how, do, how does the crust um? It's okay. It, it'll, it'll be okay. I, I, I'm we'll sure. To, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah. Uh, this is what happens all the time. So. Okay. Yeah. It's climbing. Yeah. It's all molded in. <laughs> Very soft though. Okay. There. That's okay like that, you know? That'll be fine. I just finished doing the crust. Now I'm going to do the filling. And the filling consists of the two egg whites that I had. And I have to beat these stiff. So you separated the egg whites out with from the, the eggs, and you use the yolks in the in the in, crust, in and the now crust. using the egg whites here. Exactly. Now that's good. See, it comes to a peak. It's like a meringue. Yeah, it is. And now I'm gonna I'm going to put my two pounds of ricotta and a half a cup of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. Oh my goodness, this is hot. Okay. Wow. <laughs> All right. Okay, now I'm going to beat this up. Okay. the uh, regatta with the sugar and the vanilla and now I'm going to fold in this egg white just fold it in and that's like you know how to fold that's you turn it around like that keep turning so and this is basically it Good. All right. 
And now, that's the best stuff. Okay, now we're ready to put it into the pie sh the shell that we made. my top crust. Okay. Yeah. It needed a little flour, I guess. That's better. Put it on. Just cover it up. And we're on our way. There it is. Oh, I see. So the top of the crust actually meets the bottom there yeah, in the pan. Yeah, sure. And if it doesn't need it, you know, you just move it around. If you can think a spot is, doesn't have, yeah. There. It should be good. That should be good. And uh, I'm going to put um, an egg, egg wash. Or you can do milk. I think I'll just do a little bit of milk as long as it's here. Why would it Either be egg wash or you can do milk. And just did give an it a little bit of shine. If you did an egg wash, what would you use? The yolks? Just the whole egg. I do the whole egg. You use the whole egg, you just beat an egg and yeah. then wipe the milk, yeah, brush but, it on top? Yeah. But I'm going to just do this. Or you could use milk. So the yeah, the milk is fine. That's it. Is one better than the other or are they both? No. Yeah, well, the egg, I think the egg gives it a more shiny. So that's more, okay. Yeah. This is really for looks, is why you do the the egg, the egg wash. Yeah. Or the milk wash in this case. Yeah. Okay. That's it. And. Okay. And why do you do that? Just like yeah, air so out. And this thing is gonna rise high, and then when you take it out of the oven, it'll fall back down. But it's good like that. Okay. Okay, now it's ready to be put in the oven. Here it is, already nice. And uh, the oven should be at 375, and you cook it for about 30 to 45 minutes. Just check it. Every oven is different. So, uh, 45 minutes since I had this in the oven. So I think it's ready now. I'm gonna take it out. It gets all cracked up like that, but then it, it settles down and it'll be fine. Okay, now it's done. It's really hot and I wait until it gets cool before you, you can't even eat it. It's not supposed to be eaten warm anyway. And uh, so you wait and the next day you, you can eat it. You know? Yeah, usually you let it sit a couple hours at least, maybe sure. even, and then oh, refrigerate it. You actually yeah. want to serve it cold. Yeah, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be warm, no. So this should be fine, and then I'll loosen it up, you know, the um, the spring foam pan, and it should be fine. And that that yeah. side will pop right off the pan. Right, right. Yeah, you can't do it right now, but you know, after fifteen it's minutes or so, you can you can do that, you know. Or you could do it last minute too, right? Yeah. Just pull it right off. But I think I think the best thing is just you know just kind of get a knife and go around, so that way you, you don't have anything that's sticking, and it should be fine. Pizza ricotta. Here we go. <laughs> ricotta pie. It's one of my favorites. I, I just love absolutely it love it. In fact, I, I don't know if I can wait till it's Ooh, cooled off. Get out of here. I can't do that. 
This is uh, definitely one of the best things that Mama Lombardo makes, mm -hmm. and uh, I hope you guys give it a try, and we'd love to hear your thoughts if you do. Put some comments on the blog and, or under the video, and, and uh, or reach out to us and just let us know. So, what are you doing for Easter? Oh, I'm, I'm going upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Who lives up there? Are you coming up? We, I didn't know I'm, that. <laughs> I'm coming to your place, and we're going to have la lasagna, meatballs, brujol. They make a brujol, too. Wow. Artichokes, everything. I'm lucky, as you can see. And uh, the Easter baskets we made. That's right. The Easter cookies that we the made. The pizza gaina. Pizza gaina. Needless to say, there's going to be no shortage of food. My, my <laughs> wife is actually making a, a ham and oh my some God, mashed potato yeah. and a whole bunch of other stuff, too. Right. We're going to have a, a great holiday. It's yeah. uh, one of my favorite holidays. Yeah. And, uh, food's and Rick obviously will be coming, part. Cheryl, and, uh, yep, all of our and family. Jason and Kelly, everybody. So that's going to yeah, be good. It'll be and, nice, uh, yeah. And it's special, nice too. Thing. I just want to um, give a shout-out and uh, well wishes to my wife, Leslie, who's worked so hard over the past year. She's actually going to be uh, being brought into the Catholic Church tonight, which we're really excited about. It's, uh, it's uh, She's going to be uh, bat well, not baptized, she's going to be confirmed and, and receive uh, communion and penance and become a member of the church. So we're really excited about that. So congrats so to her. So that's a nice nice time absolutely an extra special Easter this year so yeah. with this we're um, gonna wrap up a few of our Easter dishes we, we've experimented with a few different things and there's plenty of other things that we, we just as we just heard that we could share over Easter but we're gonna oh, do that another time another we'll, time we'll another. be rolling out some <laughs> other uh, right right recipe soon what do you have in mind next maybe I have I don't know <laughs> you haven't a thought surprise. about it <laughs> No shortage of ideas. I gotta, I gotta listen to things we can do. We gotta think about it. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. I know. Well, great. We wish everybody a happy Easter, and um, happy thanks again Easter. for tuning in. And please be sure to um, uh, come back and uh, tune and in next time. And give me some comments. I like to know if you ever tried them too. Any of these recipes that I gave. Oh, you want to know if anybody has tried it? Yeah, yeah, the comments actually been great on the blog yeah. I think, for the most part. So yeah, yeah it's right. always good to hear. And, right, uh, right. And it's uh, just to remind you, it's www.mamalombardo.com, and uh, we'll see you next time. <laughs>